guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a makeup tutorial doing a natural glam makeup tutorial. So, um, still gluing it up, still doing a full face of makeup, wearing fake eyelashes and the whole shebang, but I'm going to try and make sure it looks natural and use natural colors. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, but this is something I would wear for work or school, like if I do have a decent amount of time to get ready but don't want it to look too crazy, I'll pull a look out like this. Um, and yeah, before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna be start. I feel like I still have like the uh, makeup. Also, please, no one look at my hands for all this video because I just finished my diamond makeup brush holders, and like I have some spray paint all over my hands. FYI, wear gloves while you spray paint. Like, yeah. Okay, yeah, let's get started. Um, so I'm using my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser, and I'm just taking like a pea-sized amount of that and rubbing it all into my skin with my fingers. I did wash my hands, so they're clean. Like it's not like I'm rubbing paint on my skin. I just cannot get it off for the life of me. Okay, and I know I said we're doing a natural look, but I'm still gonna be using my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow and More Glow Boosting Drops because I am so obsessed with them. But I'm not gonna be using them as a highlighter. I won't go that crazy. I'm just gonna put like a little bit on my face before I start my foundation so I look like dewy all over. Taking the dropper, drop a little bit on my face. Oh, I actually got a drop that time. I'm just like, there, rub a little bit on my face. So professional, you guys. Okay. And then I'm just going to rub that into my skin. This stuff has such a nice finish and it gives you such a good glow. But like it just feels so soft just to like even like rub on your skin or like touch after. It's so nice. And it makes your foundation look really good on top of it. Like I really like using it before foundation. Now that we're all glowy, I'm going to color correct just a little bit on my cheeks where they're red. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my Face Secrets Mini Beauty Blender. This is like $5 and it blends out decently. Came in a pack with like a little pink one too. These guys came together. I finally found both of them. That's all we're going to do for color correction today. I feel like my skin isn't looking that bad this morning. So we're going to leave it at that. Oh my god, it's daylight out. I'm going to open the window so it's like even lighter in here. I never get the chance to film in daylight. And now I have a ring light and daylight. Like, oh, this is going to be amazing. Okay, moving on. So now I'm taking my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow Foundation in Nude Beige and I'm just going to dot that all over my skin. And then I'm just going to blend this out with my BH Cosmetics Pro Flat Top Buffing Brush. I really like this brush. It's six bucks on their website, I believe. And I use it for foundation like almost every day. It blends out really nice. And it doesn't like waste a lot of product. Okay, so I'm going to move on to concealer, and I'm using the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. I was holding that up so weird, I was like... <laughs> and I'm just putting this under my under eyes to cover up my dark circles. We're still going to contour today. And then just any areas I want to bring light to my face. So, my chin, a little bit. My cupid's bow. I'm just like covering up the redness like on my nose. I don't know about you guys, but I always have such bad like blackheads and just like redness like right in here, like right in that little crease. I hate it. And then I'm just gonna put like a little bit on my nose and up my forehead. And then I'm also just gonna put like a little bit just like right on my cheeks where um the redness is because like I don't know if you guys can see that, but I didn't really cover it up all that well today. So And then I'm just going to blend that out with my Sephora foundation brush. So I think I'm going to do a powder contour today, so I'm just setting my face with my RCA Mango Color Powder. And I'm just going to be using my MAC 116 brush to set my under eyes. Okay, so for contour today, I'm using my BH Cosmetics Nude Rose Contour Kit. And I'm just going to be using this shade out of that kit. It's like the neutral shade out of the two. The other one's definitely more of like a shimmery bronzer, but I want to use it to contour, so we're going to use the neutral one. And I'm using my e.l.f. Angled Contour Brush, and I'm just going to be dipping that into the powder, and then just lightly, lightly stroking it under my cheekbones. 
And then I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side, just with really, really light strokes and not a ton of product. Just carving out my cheekbone. And I'm not going to do a ton today because we are going for a little bit more of a natural look. I'm just going to shadow some along the edges of my forehead. And then we're just going to run some along my lip jawline as well. So moving on to highlighting, I am going to be using my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight in Blossom Glow. And I'm just putting that on to my BH Cosmetics Pro Highlighting Brush. Pay no attention to my manicure, please. It's like, I have spray paint all over my hands right now. Like chrome spray paint. I'm just doing a little bit on my cheekbones. My chin. Cupid's bow. And down my nose. And up my forehead a little bit. But I'm not putting a ton of product on today. I only am putting like a little bit on. Just to give me like a subtle glow. Okay, so now that my face is done, I'm just going to dose it in some NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. So I want to be all dewy and lovely and wonderful. So now we're going to move on to brows, and I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown, and I'm just filling them in with my Sephora Angled Brush. Actually, I'm going to show you guys a little trick today. This is a really quick way to fill in your brows if you don't have a lot of time or if you just want to go for like a more natural look. Do like the bottom underline and then outline the top. And then take a spoolie and brush up and down. So like... And then just brush them through. And there, it's already like mostly filled in. You just need to like kind of re-outline the bottom. And just fill in where it needs to be. And then shape them with concealer. But yeah, that's like a really quick way to do your brows. I learned that from like a little post on Instagram that showed you in like pictures and stuff of a video. And then I'm just gonna shape it with concealer. And there, it gives definitely gives it like a bit more of like a natural fill than compared to what I usually do. So that's why I'm doing that for this look today. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the other brow as well. I think. Okay, so now that my brows are done, we're gonna go ahead and start with eyes. And today I'm gonna be using my Morphe three, my <laughs> Morphe 350 palette. The top of it is dirty. What do you know? And I've really been loving this palette lately. It comes with so many gorgeous colors. They're all really, really pigmented, but I'm going to be doing a natural eye look today, so I'm going to just be taking, I don't even know how I want to start. Eyeshadow primer would probably be a good idea, so. I'm going to take a tiny bit of my Milani eyeshadow primer and just dab that onto my eye with my concealer brush. This is what the eyeshadow primer looks like here. And once the eyeshadow primer is down, I'm just taking my Hue Fluffy Brush and this white shade right here and just using that as a base for both of my eyes. And once that's down, I'm taking my e.l.f. Blender Brush and I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using this shade here as a transition shade. I'm just fluffing that into my crease and outer view in a windshield wiper motion. And once that shade's on there, I'm going to pick up a little bit of this, like, ready brown shade here. And we're going to be using that as our base shade. So we're just going to be fluffing that into the outer V and crease in the same wheel windshield wiper motion. But I'm going to be trying to, like, actually cover, like, about outside half of each of my eyelids in this color as well. Kind of leaving a space, like, just on the front half of my eyelid. Okay, and today we're gonna be doing like a little bit of like a half cut crease look. I know this is like a little much for like a natural glam look, but I did say glam, okay? We're using natural-ish colors. I'm using my e.l.f. concealer brush and my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer and just making a little like half crease with like a tiny, tiny bit of concealer. 
And in the middle of my eyelid, I just like lightly, lightly pat the concealer there. Like I didn't cut the crease or anything. Like this is what it looks like. And like we're not going to go all the way through. We're just going to do like a little half cut crease. But yeah, I just like literally dabbed the lightest amount of concealer. So now that that's done, I'm using my QO fluffy brush in the shade right next to the first shade we used. And just using that to set where I put the concealer. I actually really like this so far. Okay, so now that that's set, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush in my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I'm just spraying it onto the brush to make the colors a little more pigmented. And then I'm going to go into my Morphe 350 palette and then pick up this shimmery peach shade here. And then I'm going to put that on the cut crease. So once that shimmer shade's on there, I'm just going to go in with that same dark brown ready shade I was using earlier in the crease, just picking up a little bit of product and lightly putting that over my outer V just to make sure everything is nice and blended. And just kind of running it into the shimmer shade, but not really. So now I'm going to take my Sephora concealer brush into my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer and just clean up the edges of my makeup a little bit. I'm just going to go in with this end of my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance brush and this shade right here. I'm just going to put this on the inside corners and under my brows just to make the look look like even more dewy. Okay, and that's the finished look for the eyeshadow. So now we're going to throw in some lashes. And today I'm going to be using a pair of the Ardelfo Mink Lashes. So these are from the drugstore. We don't have a Sephora like anywhere near my house. The nearest Sephora is like 50 minutes away from me. So it's quite a journey if I want to get good makeup. So we're just going to use some Ardelfo Mink ones. They look pretty nice once they're on. These ones are about like $12 or $13 at Walmart, I believe. But I, I like them. They're not bad eyelashes by any means. Okay, and to apply my lashes, I'm just going to be using a compact mirror and looking down into it. It's much easier to apply your lashes this way. It gives you like a really good view of your eye. And I'm just going to coat my lashes with my Lash Paradise Voluminous Lash Mascara. I think that's, yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> I'm just going to coat my lashes with that. And I'm doing my bottom lashes as well. I'm not putting as much on my bottom lashes as I usually do though, because you know we're going for that natural look, so. Okay, so moving on to lips, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips in the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner. This one is called Never Petal Down. I love it. Okay, so I'm just going to line my lips with that. And now we're going to put some liquid lipstick over this. And for liquid lipstick today, we're going to be using the my Milani liquid lipstick. The shade's called Pretty. And then I'm just going to fill in my lips with that. And this is the finished look. I'm actually really loving how it turned out. I wear looks like this to work all the time because I don't like... Like, I always like doing, like, a full base of glam makeup, but sometimes for work or school and stuff like that, I like to tone it down a little bit, not use, like, too bright of colors. So, this is me trying to do a natural glam look. Maybe the cut crease was a little bit much, I will admit that, but I just couldn't help myself today. I always get carried away when I do makeup. So, I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, make sure to like and share this video, and make sure to subscribe before you leave. I post every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I will see you guys soon. Bye for now.